Hey, what is up, guys? This is Cobb. Come with a very, very chaff heavy opener here as the good old giant specialist. Oh, I think these guys might be arriving a little bit too late, resulting in these fangs getting absolutely butchered by this Aki, but at least things go on just about a plan on this side. So that's kind of good. Phoenix has cleaned up the balls. we got to win quickly over here, given that we've pretty much abandoned one side of the map. Well, Phoenix's go. Very good. Nice. We actually got some crawlers left alive, man. That's really good. Team go. Cow building goes down first. That's actually fine, I think. And in this one, because we're running giant specialist, I'm just gonna straight up try for maybe a turn two, turn three, war factory. <laughs> what do you mean it's terrible? No, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be great. Just believe, okay? I think it's gonna be really funny anyway. So let's just see if we can actually pull it off, you know? Nice. The last of his. Uh, Anti-air units go down, and the Phoenixes win us the day. Which is good at times. Okay. Uh, Mass-produced Phoenixes. Oh, God. I really hope he doesn't go for elite hackers. I just played against one of the... What, like, it, was, it was actually a channel viewer called Mr. Brightman. What's up, dude, if you're watching? He hacked the hell out of one of my War Factories, dude, trying to do a meme build. We lost in two turns. It was really, really bad. Okay, anyways, that said, uh, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and skip. Now, we can unlock the War Factory for free right now at this very moment. We can do that. However, we do need to have a unit in mind that it can be kind of mass producing for us. And I think for us, that will probably be the Steel Balls. Steel Balls do pretty well into what he's running right now. Um, so I guess I'd do this. Couple lots of balls. Maybe get these guys, like, here or something. A little bit staggered back. Maybe some on this side, too. Or do I just want to side rush? I could have them follow in the rest of my guys like this. I think that could be decent. Just leave a big spot here for the goddamn War Factory, which is coming out next turn, you best believe. So the reason I want to build into Steel Balls as well is because then any tech upgrades I get on the Steel Balls will also transfer over to the Steel Balls that my factory is mass producing. You know what I'm saying? And people think, well, you know, at least, look, this is the way my brain works, right? People think of that, oh, well, the factory's no good to get early because it costs 200 supply every turn to maintain. You're right, that is a steep cost to pay. However, if it just produces four steel balls at least every turn, which we'll do easily, by the way, then that's the same as an entire unit of steel balls, which is worth 200 supply, you know? So if you think about it like that, it isn't so bad, okay? <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm just trying to rationalize it so I can make another meme video, but, you know, it's all good. Okay. Nice, we can actually hit speed up. This one is going to be an L. Those Mustangs ain't going to know what's hit them. When this factory comes down, man. They ain't going to know what do, man. Okay, skip all of this. I'm going to goddamn borrow some cash. I'm just going to grab the factory right away. Slam it. Like right here. So it's nice and protected. Maybe it should be like this or something. Somewhere like that. Let's drop like a missile over here. I wonder if I can take out like these guys and these guys. Or at least severely weaken them. If I place missile like here. Can I just clip those guys I wonder? Oh, I'm going to try it. My calculations are correct. It has about a 60% chance of hitting these guys. Which isn't that bad. And a small chance of hitting these guys. Ah, it's going to hit the goddamn fangs, isn't it? That's probably slightly mispositioned. But alright, man, screw it. The War Factory is down. The War Factory is down. Round three, War Factory. Let's do this. Oh. He actually placed an extra unit of balls here, man. So, bam! That's quite good. Alright. The Factory will also decimate this guy's uh, steel balls in the front line. Which is awesome. Gets our chaff through much, much faster. There it is. Let's go team, let's go team! <laughs> oh my god. I don't know if I just one-shot the level 2 steel balls, man. 
Well, you know, kind of one shot. Pretty much one shots. Oh, it's doing great. It's majestic. It's just majestic, man. And you know what? I even checked this up now with uh, Missile Interceptor. Just so that it can't die to Overlords. And that is very, very uh, well defended against Stormcallers as well. Which seem to be like the biggest counters against this Chungus. Yes. And the best part, man. If you win the first round, you slam this guy down. Your opponent takes 800 damage. Boom, dude. Incredible strat. Works every... Oh, God. He can pick Lightning Storm. I only have 300 supply. <laughs> Oh, oh, dude. Okay. Uh, we might just have to take the L on this one. If he goes Lightning Storm, there's nothing we can really do here. Um, I don't think I want to go for uh, Steel Ball Production just yet. Don't think that that's the answer. I think I just want to upgrade nerds, right? Like, upgrade these nerds, upgrade these nerds. Um... Yeah, I think just I think just a lot of upgrades is is it. Upgrade a whole bunch of dudes. I could drop one barrier. Just one. Maybe that wouldn't be the worst thing. I just don't think upgrading the Phoenix is worth that much for us right now. Put it like here. Oh, he doesn't go for the lightning storm, bro. Okay, you go some melting point instead. Interesting. Okay, so now next round, we probably go into Mechanical Division and uh, Steel Ball Production on this big Chungus. That will be the plan. Now, from what I've seen so far, Melting Points don't seem to do that much work, really, against the War Factory, from what I've seen. Like, the War Factory tends to, like, it, like innately outrange it. Not just innately outrange it, but... Um, by the time the Melting Point latches on, it sort of feels like the War Factory gets to connect anyway. And because the Warp Factory is hitting with four guns, like a level one melting point still really struggles to bring it down in time before the uh, these big blue cannons just kind of one-shot it. Oh my god, man. Look at the value our goddamn shield is, he, uh, is getting over here, dude. Okay. Can he kill this thing now? If there's any round he can do it, it's going to be this one, right? No! Damn those steel... What the hell? I covered my crawlers, went Rambo! The Rambo crawlers, dude! No! Oh, dude. Okay. Nice, we can level it as well. Oh, but that costs 400 supply, though. Uh, okay, I've got to skip. I've got, I've got to level it. I, I have to. And I've got to get it steel ball production, too. Okay, so we can't go the mechanical division just yet. Not just yet. Um, I do want to level these balls, dude. Oh, God, I'm so tempted to just borrow more money just to slam more balls. But it's probably a terrible idea. We won't do that. We will do this, though. So we can take out some of this chaff over here. Okay, so now it's spam producing a level 2 steel ball every round. I hope he uses the javelin on this. Oh, he actually goes wasps on the back line. Uh, they're going to kind of get stuck just following my crawlers for a while, though. I don't think they're going to be super effective. That's two melting points with range now. Which, again, this is why the uh, mechanical division is so, so important. With uh, a factory that's producing the steel balls. Obviously, we've rushed it extremely early in this scenario. Nice, that's a damn good missile hit in the end. Okay, my phoenixes do just about win the little duel here against the wasps. Okay, but we are spam producing extra balls now. Look at this, man. Look at the cooldown on this goddamn thing. Go, 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 go. All right, dude. Just keep producing nerds. The ball spam is on, dude. The ball spam is on. They're gonna connect. They will get these kills. This building's about to go down. Okay, that's it. We win. We win this round. We win this round, dude. It's just too many balls getting produced now. Just too many. Look at him, dude. <laughs> oh, dude. 
Dude, we got mechanical uh, division next round now. Oh my god. The War Factory Rush, boys. The War Factory Rush. I ain't even scared of that nuke, dude. Okay, I am a little bit, but... We got mechanical division here. Um... My god, I mean, I guess I just upgrade. Then what? Just buy, like, a couple of balls? Maybe... This guy is like really. I could really slow him down a lot by placing like missiles here and like another set here. Like I could really slow down his ability to kill this building right by just movement slowing his uh, steel balls. Um. Okay. Gonna drop more starting balls over here, dude. Maybe place them in at the back. Yeah, just in behind like so. Something like that. And I suppose I do have to shield, right? I do have to shield a little bit. Yeah, I do have to shield a little bit. I should have actually invested... Instead of Steel Balls, I should... I guess I should have invested in just... More Phoenixes here. Uh, because Overlords right now... Is like... Quite... Quite a threat to us, I think. Yeah, I don't think I need too many barriers, though. I guess... I mean, I guess I'll just do that. Okay. Let's see now, man. So these missiles should slow down his balls quite a bit. Now, again, these balls are going to break down into five crawlers as they go down. So the idea is we're just going to slow him forever. He actually has a Vulcan in the mix, which is going to help him out quite a bit in killing off all of this extra chaff. Go, missile, go. Just slow him, just slow him. We're just buying time over there. Could have placed that missile a bit further forwards in hindsight. Come on, dude. Many balls connecting on this guy now. If that Vulcan goes down, we have so much chaff. Oh, no. I thought I placed that just right to block. Oh, dude. Okay, his building's also going to go, though. Okay, I'm pretty sure we just have too much chaff now. Look. Look, he's just killing crawlers, man, with his goddamn... With his melting points now. That's the plan. Yes, dude. Oh, it's unstoppable. There it is. Round three, War Factory Rush. Just absolutely overpowered, bro. Unstoppable. It's just melting, bro. <laughs> oh my god. And that is why going turn three, War Factory, is actually just a horrible idea right there, dude. Oh, Jesus. So, yeah, it dies horribly to acid. Dies horribly to, um, I think, like, plus range melting points super early on if you can get it to connect as well before it's producing steel balls. Makes it horrific, too. Yeah. This is how most games go when you attempt the turn, turn 3 War Factory event.